Once again, Central Florida, the center of the universe for sports. Today, and we received that exclusive behind the scenes look we've been talking about. It's some cutting edge technology that NASCAR is now using to inspect race cars ahead of the big events. And with the Daytona 500 just a few days off, the experts actually took Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook behind the curtain and inside the scanning station to show her how they use lasers to take measurements that could mean the difference between first and second place. Before some of the world's most talented drivers hit the track at the Daytona 500. Drop her down, Eric. Their cars must get the green light. So what we're looking at here is NASCAR's cutting edge technology. Where we use a light based system with cameras to measure the race cars, make sure they meet compliance and nobody's trying to cheat the system somewhere along the line. Hit it. The optical scanning station uses 157,000 laser dots to measure each race car in about 30 seconds. The system then crunches the numbers and builds a 3D representation of the car just like in a video game. When the car is built per the rule book, it should be all green when it shows up on the heat map. When the body works pushed too far in or out of compliance, it's blue and when it's pushed too far out, it's red. And if it shows blue or red, the car must go back to the garage to be fixed before it can race. We measure down to one thou of an inch. To put that in perspective, a regular piece of paper is about four thousandth of an inch. So if you were physically able to turn it up on its side and slice it into four separate pieces, that's how accurate these measurements are. Every one thousandth of an inch matters. If somebody is two or three thou over in an aerodynamic sensitive area, that could be the difference between first or second when the car's at speed on the track. In the past, humans performed these inspections, which took about five minutes. There was a team of three or four officials that went through and checked the bodywork with little spacers, essentially. Now the whole process is done in two and a half giving drivers more time to practice before they start their engines for the most prestigious race of the year. At Daytona International Speedway, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And this system is what they now use at all NASCAR races and IndyCar races too. They set up and take down the scanning station at tracks 37 weeks a year.